Commencing the show in three, two, one. All right. Hey, everyone. It's Meg. And Barry Potter. And I brought Caleb for this one because he hasn't seen this movie, but we are watching Field of Dreams. Field of Dreams. I'm actually Barry. I'm uh, Harry's American cousin that no one talks about. Okay. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Hey, hi. It's Caleb. So this is a tier four patron pick. By B. By, Vega. By B. Vega. And I'm super excited because it's apparently like a sports fantasy movie and it's well regarded yeah it's like a favorite for many did you um, play any sports growing up i played soccer yeah in brazil nice and also as in canada just like as a second grader yeah uh she's, she's, i just was there for the snacks right i like the snacks that the other mothers brought and we that's the best part of snacks. like sporting events period is like going in the concessions Really yeah, exactly. I'll like always go to a baseball game or a football game with you because food. The concessions and, mm -hmm. and not even like not the professional concessions because the professional concessions are usually overpriced. I'm talking like, you know, normal everyday people concessions like they went to Sam's Club and they bought like a 48 pack. No, I like the chicken fingers. Bars. I know that they're overpriced, but I like the chicken fingers and the hot dogs for baseball. Valid. And I did play some softball and baseball in middle school so this is about baseball this is about baseball which i played for like 10 years nice and caleb's kind of like a sports expert well no to me <laughs> no to me he is so if i have any questions he'll be able to answer the only sport that i know far <laughs> too much about is football and i yeah. never played it's just too much information in my brain Right. But it's cool because it's like a chess match in motion. I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to stop you because you cannot be drinking a Coke in front of me. And like, I want you want a, Coke? a soda so bad. Yeah. I just put some Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream in the fridge. Just? Like, yeah, but could I drink it now? It felt cold to the touch. <laughs> let me let me go get one. I mean, you could put some ice in the... Oh, do we have any ice? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just I fixed the a... freezer, so it's like not no ice in the freezer. I'll I can have a regular Dr. Pepper. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Well, if it feels cold, then that's fine. I usually drink it when it's like lukewarm anyways. Well, I think that's good, right? Without further ado, let's For throw some angels further. in this outfield. Oh, Kevin Costner's in it. Oh. And he was Jonathan Clark in Man of Steel. Oh. Oh, I love Kevin Costner. He's done some good stuff. Ooh. Ooh. So late 80s, early 90s. If we were at like a, a theater or something and this was an orchestra, I'd be crying by now. I know, I was thinking that. Because those moments there were like all the instruments just play a chord. Oh, I love it. My father's name was John Kinsella. It's an Irish name. He was born in North Dakota in 1896 and never saw a big city until he came back from France in 1918. And was already an old man working at the Naval Yards when I was born in 1952. <laughs> Instead of Mother Goose, I was put to bed at night to stories of Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, and the great shoeless Joe Jackson. Are you crying already? Maybe. Officially, my major was English, but really it was the 60s. I marched. I smoked yeah. some grass. <laughs> yeah, get the hell out of Vietnam. Yeah, get out of there. Smoke <laughs> some grass. After graduation, we moved to the Midwest and stayed with her family as long as we could. Almost a full afternoon. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> it's a stay in your parents' place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> a few years later, Karen was born. She smelled weird, but we loved her anyway. <laughs> But until I heard the voice, I'd never done a crazy thing in my whole life. The voice. Ooh. Ominous. <laughs> Clouds. I love that we have no idea what's going to happen. So, just so much heralding <laughs> of doom. I know. 
It's like, is it sci-fi maybe? <laughs> is it horror? <laughs> is it I'm be? either thinking it's like sci-fi or it's about like maybe schizophrenia. Or like evil corn. Mental illness. Because he's talking about his dad. Right. I'm not going to make too many assumptions, but that's honestly, that's how little I know about this movie. And it kind of reminds me of signs. Yeah. This is, this is creepy. Is it a Christian movie? I don't know. I don't think so. Annie, what was that? What was that? That voice just now. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you did that for all of your auditory hallucinations. <laughs> He's so cute and Aww. young. He will come. Who's he? ASMR. Okay, you must have heard that. Sorry. Hey, come on into dinner. That house is beautiful. I love it. Those long wraparound porches. Yeah, and like the privacy of it. And it's not too big. That's like ideal. Oh, what I, I imagine would love for that. Us. Are we gonna be a? Are we gonna be farm people? I would love to be a farmer. I think we should be farm people. Okay, we'll be farm people. And look at that beautiful Might be a real rough, house. Might be a bad time to join the farm people, but. No, I think it'd be perfect. I love the set design. It's so real. It's so, yeah. If you build what, who will come? <laughs> yeah. He didn't say. Ooh, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I like her a lot. She's just she's goofy. Rolling with it. Yeah, exactly. It could be. It could be thriller. Could be the ghost of his father. Well, is his father still alive? His father, his yeah. dad might still be alive. I think his dad's alive. He didn't say he's dead. His mom's dead. Well, it can't be an angel because they did that in another baseball movie. An angel? Angels in the outfield. I got some errands to do in town. Far out. Far <laughs> out. Uh, I love her. You hearing voices? No, no, no. It's just that I heard that some farmers do and I, of course, don't. So I... <laughs> I was wondering if I was doing something wrong or something. I'm not here. <laughs> I would like to. Put me top of the list. Yeah, that darn tractor. Uh, I'm just going to get some three-in-one oil and that ought to do <laughs> That song is really clever. Introduct it, that Clever to weave in there, too. The, I'm crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, cool. Well, his dad was a baseball player. Right. Shoeless Joe. Oh. It's Ray Liotta. And Ray Liotta looks kind of like Shoeless Joe. Do you Joe. know Shoeless Joe? No. Anything about him? I just saw the picture of him okay. at the beginning. The music is so good. It's beautiful. The sound design. You don't suppose this is like acid flashback? <laughs> they are such a piece. <laughs> never took acid. Well, maybe it was someday. It's like a flash forward. <laughs> yes, I totally feel her. And I love that she's just saying that in front of her kid. Mm -hmm. Shoeless Joe Jackson will get to come back and play ball again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 36 years old. I have a wife, a child, and a mortgage, and I'm scared to death I'm turning into my father. What's your father got to do with all of this? I never forgave him for getting old. Oh. Hmm. Did he play baseball? Did he say? Probably. Then you should do it. Supportive <laughs> relationship. That is so sweet. Oh, that's real love. Love. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> He's, <under> his corn. <laughs> <laughs> He's building a gosh darn baseball field. Better get ready, y'all. I, th I think it's cute at the very least. Like, she might grow up to be the baseball player. Yeah. Softball, whatever. I know. I think girls, women aren't allowed to do. I don't fucking know. She's going to lose his farm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you have something better to do? It's Damn so fucking accurate for small towns. I think that's the first time I've ever seen you smile when you mentioned your father. <laughs> oh no. She loves this him movie. so much. 
Oh my god, so pretty. Wow. So what are you saying? Can't you rinse Can't out the field? the field? Yeah, start a league. Makes it real hard to keep the farm. Make, uh, make events out of it. Daddy? In a minute, Karen! There's a man out there in your lawn. Oh, so they they all see you. We'll put up some coffee. Why don't you go on outside? This would be a very different movie if his wife didn't support him. Right. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. He leaves. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> right. You're a low ball hitter. Man, I did love this game. He looks like a little kid, Ray. I haven't really seen him play not a villain. <laughs> yeah. Are you a ghost? <laughs> Karen. <laughs> <laughs> you look real to me. Oh. Well, then I guess I'm real. Can I come back again? Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Hey, is this heaven? <laughs> no, it's Iowa. <laughs> Daddy, the baseball game is on. Excuse us. I mean, I'm trying to bail him out, and he goes off to watch television with his daughter. It used to be so it's an intro. Yeah. Yeah, she's like, yeah, he's better now. <laughs> Yeah, guys, <laughs> they're back. <laughs> the boys are back in town. Oh, she meant the baseball game, this baseball game. Yeah. Muscle bound shirt. Oh, yeah? At least I got muscles. No, at most you got muscles. <laughs> Come on, asshole. Pitch. I guess they not. look so miserable compared to him. Or maybe they're just so, like, maybe those are random guys, you know? Rusty? See, there's only eight of them, so they can't play a real game. I can't to believe. Eight of one. Mm, like Tinkerbell. Yeah. Then. Or like Neverland isn't real anymore once you're an adult. Like you lose memory of it. And he's not really looking. No. He's just assuming. Do you see the baseball man right now? Turn around and try to look. <laughs> like that's something that I pride myself in. If someone was like, do you see that ghost? I would really try to find a ghost. I don't think it's very yeah. polite. To try to make other people feel stupid. Well, what are you doing? Oh, it's her in-laws. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, her, she talked about her. And her brother. Is that her brother? It's yeah. not funny, Annie. It's because they actually <laughs> have... <laughs> it is fucking funny. Can relate to her. Assholes. How did she remain so playful, I wonder, in a family like that? I think in spite of it. This is really interesting. <laughs> How we this is out really our... interesting. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Dinner! Dinner! Hey, you fuckers. I want to be friends with them. Can we build one? Yeah, we totally can. Well, it's like you were asking yesterday about like what the, the, the guys nice. were doing outside. The, I was just thinking were... that there's kids, like teenagers, playing basketball right outside and they I'm were yelling. Melting! <laughs> we just like scream at each other yeah i'm like how do and... they just yell at the same volume all at the same time and i was asking caleb is this what you did playing and he was like yes what he's just pain i'm sorry what i i didn't understand what no i think it's gotta be his dad maybe it's like his his pain of giving up on his dream mm. But I don't That's... know if his dad is dead. Right. Or if he just doesn't talk to him. Because it's the field yeah. of dreams. I'm talking about banning books again. Really subversive books like The Wizard of Oz, Diary of Anne. I love her. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> and I say PTA. smut and, and filth like, like this has, has no, no place, place in, in our, our schools. schools. <laughs> Mutt. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, well, I think he's a pervert. He's probably a communist, too. 
Oh. <laughs> From. Definitely, <laughs> definitely a communist. Oh, they definitely went to commie parties. Right, right, right. The right, couple. Right, right. Yeah. Godlessness, <laughs> the mongrelization of the races. This is my favorite song. And disrespect to high-ranking officers of the United States Army. Woo! My favorite activities. <laughs> you you, you know emboldened. why he stopped writing books? Because he masturbates. <laughs> Wait, he's what? He so he's me, madam? Oh, go girl. Get <laughs> her me. ass. Terrence Mann was a warm and gentle voice of reason during a time of great madness. Your husband plowed under his corn and built a baseball oh. field. Yes, he did. Okay. He did. Now, That's exactly Now, there's he... an intelligent response. Okay. Annie. Honey, it's all right. I'll be cool. <laughs> if I did that to At you, least, was... he is not a book burner, you Nazi cow. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> if I looked at you, I was like, it's okay. At least I'll I'm cool. not married to the biggest horse's ass in three counties. What did he oh, do to you? Do you want to step outside? <laughs> yeah, Beulah! <laughs> Fine! <laughs> Who thinks that we have to stand up to the kind of censorship that they had under Stalin? Yeah! Oh, she'd be so pissed to see our recent presidents. <laughs> Oh. All right, there you go, America. I love you. I'm proud of you. I mean it. Annie, what? We gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> this is great. Figured it out. This is so me and Caleb. <laughs> the amount of times that like I've gone to bat for Caleb and like gone bat shit crazy. I'm the hype man. You deliver the punches. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I just halted the spread of neo fascism. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Man. Let her have her dream. Yeah, let her talk. When it's not about you. No, I know he's he's passionate. It's they're both kooky, but I just think it's cute because like that. I mean, that was a dream of hers. She likes to seems to like books and stuff. Mm -hmm. So maybe it really is connected to her. Yes! You wrote a story. A character that man created 26 years ago is named John Kinsella. My father. Wow. Oh. Big wow. What do you want me to say? Big wow. What's it got to do with baseball? <laughs> you drive. I can't think right now. I, got, I, got, I can't focus on the road. Like, this is the life I chose. Feminism. <laughs> As a small boy, he had a bat named Rosebud. Sorry. <laughs> You little trickster. I was like, <laughs> I think something's going to happen to the game. I don't know what, but there's something at Fenway Park and I got to be there with Terrence Mann to find <laughs> out. I dreamt last night you were at Fenway with Terrence Mann. Ooh. I had the same dream. <sighs> I'll help you pack. <laughs> I have to take you to a basement. All right, stupid, put your hands up and get in the trunk. Oh, <laughs> maybe. Extreme. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Darth Vader. <laughs> Sir, my name's Ray Kinsella. Yep, there's Darth. And I'm no longer a public figure. I just want to be left alone. So piss off. Do you want to go to a baseball game? I've come 1,500 miles to see you at the risk of losing my home and alienating my wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Back to the sixth <laughs> No place for you here in the future. Get back while you still can. Now get the hell out of here. Should've gotten to the point. Keep trying, Ray. And do better next time. <laughs> or this time. Oh, there was a part of him that wanted him to keep trying. <laughs> he left the door a little open. No, don't try the robbery thing. What the hell is that? It's a gun. What do you think it is? It's your finger. <laughs> it's not. It's a gun. I'm going to beat you with a crowbar and then you go away. <laughs> Whoa, wait. You, can, you can't do that. The rules here. I think they're playing right now. John Kinsella. You're seeing a whole team of psychiatrists, aren't you? <laughs> a long time ago about how you always dreamed of playing at Ebbets Field and how sad you felt when they tore it down. I never said that. You just come to this game with me. I swear to God, I will never bother you again. Not even... Not even a Christmas card. <laughs> Don't you miss being involved? I was the East Coast distributor of involved. <laughs> then they killed Martin, they killed Bobby. They elected Tricky Dick twice. And now people like you think I'm... Wait, who's Tricky Dick? Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon. I have no more pain left for any of you. <laughs> I gave it the office. Like... Wow. 
I'm honestly on the side of like I want he them deserves to stop to looking rest. to me for answers, yeah. Yeah. begging me to speak again. I want them to start thinking for themselves, and I want my privacy. Yeah. Do you oh. want a hot dog? Dog and a beer. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve a hot dog and a beer. Ten bucks for two hot dogs and two beers. Nice. Go the distance. The I have off been dreamed of a far off place <laughs> where a hero's welcome would be waiting for me oh <laughs> oh ah yes what it means we're going to minnesota to find oh my trail. <laughs> uh, the expenses are stacking up Oh, bitch. <laughs> I don't believe I'm doing this. Road trip with Terrence, man. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Well, it feels like she gets less grounded when he's gone. Yeah. Grounded, like less believing in the magic. Like her family is really realistic and stuff. Yeah. Wait, did you time travel? I think he time traveled. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is getting and crazy. They oh, wait. Have they been gone a long time or something? Did they skip time? They went back. They went back. Okay. Because it's 72. Godfather, the yeah. present is 88. Dad? Or Doc. I think that might be the... Dr. Graham. Okay, so he just went back. Yeah. Okay. Dr. Graham? I like the smoke. <gasps> Well, I've come a very long way to see you. <laughs> You're like, let's walk over to my office. <laughs> what if ghosts are walking around and they just want someone to talk to them? Like, you can act. I've always heard that about paranormal stuff. It's just like that a you, if you open yourself up, that you can. Oh, he's an eye doctor? <laughs> or just a general? I'm just doctor. a general. Did your papa have yeah. a night? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Would you play with his stuff? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stethoscopes, skeletons, <laughs> different charts. I never got to bat in the major leagues. Aww. <laughs> I never got to have a chance just once to stare down a big league pitcher. Wink. <laughs> Make him think you know something he does. Nice. Well, sir, there's a place where things like that happen, and if you want to go, I can take you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think this movie is so good because it's not. It's not religious. It's not yeah. God's going to give this to you. Like, he's playing God. It's like rituals and magic with a K. If I'd only gotten to be a doctor for five minutes, now that would have been a tragedy. <laughs> I better be getting home. At least you'll think I got a girlfriend. <laughs> and he smiled. Oh. <laughs> And I was noticing the office and like you talking about your papa, it doesn't exist like that anymore where at home doctors have an office yeah. that's so full of medical equipment, but also their personalities. Like he had the baseball stuff in there too. Yeah, it's his. And your papa was like really into literature. And so it was like a library medical office. Yeah. Right. So they own the paper now. And he says, if we don't sell to them, they're okay, going to Okay, she didn't do it yet. Wait a second. I'm going to Iowa with you. <laughs> We're coming home. Yeah. How far are you going? Iowa. I'm Rick and Sella. This is Terrence Mann. Hi. I'm Archie Graham. Hi, Archie. <gasps> Wait, Graham. Dr. Graham is a teenager. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. That is so cute. Did they did they realize that? I think they okay. made that connection, yeah. By the time I was 10 playing baseball, I got to be like eating vegetables or taking So the we garbage. just got this information. When I was 14, I started to refuse. That's when I read The Boat Rocker by Terrence Mann. Oh. <laughs> Play catch with him again. You see, that's the kind of crap people always have. <laughs> it's not my fault you wouldn't play catch with your father. <laughs> After a while, I wanted to come home, but I didn't know how. Oh. Made it back to the funeral. Ugh. Oh. Damn. He's 
a ghost. I think it'll end with his ghost. Yeah, just playing catch with his son, maybe. I mean, this has surprised me what every step of the way, said. so... Yeah, let's hear it. To your father. He said I could never respect a man whose hero was a criminal. That's not... That's, like, you're fine. That's not that bad. I'm not sure dying before I could take it back. No, that's not... That's oh, right. but I guess the idea of, like, how could I respect you? Mm. I don't respect you. I've never met my wife. Oh. This is your penance. I can't bring my father back. So the least you can do is bring back his hero. But I don't agree. It's penance because look how happy he is. Like, I think it's about breaking generational curses and like also examining masculinity and, and also what kept that the pride of like we yeah from not reaching out and or, stuff. Or did not, he? Did he try as hard as he could? Did he? Yeah, and then just the idea of like a parent putting all their dreams on a kid which isn't it isn't healthy i'm not saying he's an abusive dad or anything no. but it is gonna cloud his vision of his dad and his relationship especially it's the like time an ex he grew up in, yeah it's so. an example of a parent who's like a product of their time not an abuser not a manipulator not like a bad dad right. but made mistakes he's coming to practice with the team <laughs> yeah well he's gonna be able to do a lot more than that what does that mean? <laughs> nice stretches. Wow. Not that guy. He's not very flexible. <laughs> I love that like baseball players have freaking beer bellies. Like you don't have to really they're fit, but it's like you don't have to look any certain type you of way. To be able to run, hit, and catch yeah. and, you're... and bend, squat. Oh my god. <laughs> Joe? Terry Mann. And I feel like Archie is like, doesn't necessarily have to be your parents' dream. It can even just be like completing the cycle of your own life. Like he knew his younger self needs to do this, not yeah. his doctor self. Dreams change. You get yeah. new dreams. You realize your dreams weren't your dreams. Mm -hmm. like... None of us could stand a son of a bitch when we were alive. So we told him to stick it. <laughs> <laughs> There's the Ray Liotta laugh. Yep. Hey. I'm kind of villainous. <laughs> I laugh like that. Unbelievable. But look how quickly he saw it. It's perfect. Yeah. How fun. This is so good. I thought it was going to be more based on baseball, but it's yeah. really not. It's about people. Like, Terrence doesn't even really care about baseball. Have you seen The Sandlot? No. That, the Sandal? Oh, the wait, sand maybe. Lot. The oh, kids. Sand a lot? It's sand lot. The I, sand lot. No, I don't know. Maybe. Wait, maybe. The best are when it's like not focused on sports. It's, <laughs> it's just like, a part of it. Yeah. It's like that's what the sand lot is too. It's it's about the kids. <laughs> you winked. You did it! <laughs> oh. He winked at me. <laughs> don't wink, kid. Go, go, go. That's a legal. Hey! Yeah. yeah. Okay, calm down. <laughs> it's, a, it's a rookie. This is the yeah. <laughs> Goofy. Yeah, <laughs> oh. He's like you fathering it, him. That's why it's even more than just relationship with your dad. Like he's fathering the younger version of mm -hmm. the guy. And I love that it's all focused on play. Like, all these old men just want to play again. Yes! And, like... That's so sweet. That's so it, true. And, and it's it's losing that sense of play that, like, makes no, you no fun. And like, this dude doesn't like play at freaking, all. He yes. can't even see the fucking field. Yeah. He's going to get hit in the head. I'm, they hate him. You're interrupting the game, Mark. Because he won't even look. You mean... No. You can't, can't see any of it. <laughs> Like, he's the odd one out. But I do have a deal to offer you that's going to allow you to stay on the land. But you're predatory. Daddy, you don't have to sell the farm. Karen, please, to. just wait. Shut up, die. Wait. People will come. If you build it, they will come. Mm-hmm. So they'll drive up and <laughs> want to pass. Yep. Like buying a ticket. Yeah. Yeah. Almost like a you're retreat. You're seriously listening to this, are you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They come to Iowa for reasons they can't even fathom. They turn up your driveway, not knowing for sure why they're doing it. <laughs> Just sign the papers. 
and they'll walk out to the bleachers of their set when they were children and cheer their heroes. <laughs> it's almost like imagination. Oh, look at them walking forward. <gasps> it's like the magic meal in Hook. Remember? He didn't nope. see it till he believed in mm. it. Not signing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Then leave. Stop. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> not nothing. You turn your daughter into a damn space. Get your hands off. I'm trying to help you, damn it. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Is she all right? I don't know. Is she breathing? Her <laughs> <is> <laughs> purple. <laughs> Why did it cut like that? Why did it cut like that? What the hell? <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> what? What? Oh, he's a doctor. Yeah. Oh, okay. Archie, maybe this scene Dr. is a little too Hey, hey, they gotta make it work. <laughs> okay. All of this is magical. So, it's so the girl's not hurt. Wait, he needs equipment. <laughs> bring, bring her to the field. <laughs> but then he's passing her into the world of the dead. Oh right. Well, no, because he went yeah, there. Yeah, he went there. Go, Archie. Yeah, big, big boy, oh, connecting Archie. Connecting your younger self yes. to your older self. Oh. Is the uncle seeing okay, the take old it man, back. Archibald? She fell. Maybe he has to. Yes. Because, yeah. because he has to believe because he just really messed up. Yeah. And that's usually when. Oh, my God. On what? Was she eating something? Oh, she'd be all right. She'll be turning handsprings before you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Doc. No, son. Thank you. <laughs> and I love that because it's not like they're praying to God. It's people. It's all right. I'm sorry. It's all right. Oh. He just wanted that one Yeah, that's hit. all. I best be getting on home. Before Alicia begins to think I got a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Doc. <laughs> nice going, Doc. Wouldn't work for me one day, would you, boys? <laughs> okay, Doc. Yeah. Yeah. When did these ball players get here? Um, can you? Okay, uh, no, you're unsafe. <laughs> why? You're why is nobody safe. beating him up? <laughs> and also, he hasn't said sorry. Yeah. For like handling a child like that. You were good. I think a lot of men, but also athletes who were kids, kid athletes or young adults want to be hurt. They want to be told that. Yeah. Caleb, you were good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. At soccer. No, or I wasn't. wasn't. <laughs> no, but I if wasn't. I said you were good with like acting and stuff, which was a dream yeah. of yours for a while. Yeah. That would affect you. Yeah. Like he was crying about that. Right. If someone said that to me about acting. No, not you. Please don't be yeah. a don't be a sixth sense. Do not be a sixth sense twist. Is he dead? Uh, what is out there? Come and find out. Wait a second. Wait a second. Why him? I built this field. You wouldn't be here right. for it weren't for me. Well, sick. you wouldn't be here I'm for it. You have a family. I know, but I want to know what's out there. But you're not invited. <laughs> he died. No, wait. I have done everything I've been oh, asked to do. Man. I didn't understand it, but I've done it. I think you better stay here, Ray. So you don't get it yet? Maybe he's alive, he just needs to... There was a reason they chose me, just as there was a reason they chose you in this field. Maybe Why? so he can write about it. I gave an interview. Yeah. What What interview? What are you talking about? The one about Ebbets Field, one that charged you up and sent you all the way to Boston yeah. to find me. <laughs> and if I had the courage to go through with this, what a story it'll make. Yeah, exactly, and he can write it. Yeah. Are you going to write about it? Well, you better write about it. <laughs> You're going to write about it. Uh. I thought you weren't involved. That's what I do. Oh, so many different types of dreams. Yeah. And like, you don't just have one stages, dream in your stages life. Stages of them. You be careful. Yeah, seriously. He's just like wandering in cornfields. Uh, yeah. <laughs> is it, is, just kidding. <laughs> going through the portal <laughs> between is dimensions. He, okay, I hope so. Because if he's like just imagining it, but still present in his body, that wouldn't be good. Yeah, are they going to wake up to like Terrence Mann found dead in a cornfield? <laughs> okay, I <laughs> thought he was Iowa. dead this whole time, so. 
Nice. <laughs> nice. I love his smile. It's so cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god! That's pure joy right there! <laughs> yeah, it is. No one can talk to me about laughing too much or being like too happy smiling too much, being too playful, because that's actually criticisms I get. They're just miserable and exactly. jealous. Exactly. They're, they're like they're that other guy. As you can be. If you build it, he will come. It's not him. It's his dad. Oh, yeah. I think. Was he there the whole time? Yeah. That is his dad. He's his pain. Oh. Go the distance. Hi. Oh, he goes hi, hi like him. Hi. Well, for me, it's like a dream come true. <laughs> Oh, his expression is crazy. Is, so, powerful. is this heaven? <laughs> no, it's Iowa. <laughs> it's Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> is there a heaven? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the place dreams come true. <laughs> <laughs> that is here. <laughs> What if there was? Yeah, yeah, what if there was no heaven? <laughs> hey, Dad? <laughs> he knew. You want to have a catch? Oh. <laughs> I like that. Oh. I want to have a catch with someone. You okay? Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. That is so crazy. Oh That was so good. Great, great, great movie. Great recommendation. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I can't believe I haven't heard of it. That was so good. Be Vega for recommending this. Yeah. Oh God, that last scene just like sent me back to when I, um, right before I quit playing baseball, I, my I used to play fall ball and my um coach decided I was ready to pitch uh so they needed a new pitcher and like my 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 dad was too busy and didn't really care so much to like help me pitch and learn to pitch so I would pitch with my grandpa and Aww. like he was man he had to be in his 60s like early 70s just like <laughs> squatting in the backyard catching my That's pitches exhausting. <laughs> 12 years old, and we would do it like every day Aww. and uh that was the last season of ball i ever played um and then we moved and i didn't want to do it anymore mm -hmm. but it was yeah it just sent me back like well there's something so like almost you know intimate about doing it because you're facing each other and you're talking yeah you know and like checking in on each other so it the activity itself is really precious um it's just so fun and meditative and yeah unique and it it's just 
I don't know. It's a way to connect and like you can talk. You don't even need words. Yeah, You're just for sure. Throwing a ball back and forth. Mm -hmm. Cause like my bad ball didn't talk much. But, yeah. Um. He, he didn't to need play. to though, cause he like really showed you that he loved you, and I'm really glad that you don't have regrets like that. No. You know. Um, I guess I know a lot of people do and it's not something I can totally relate to that that experience specifically like with a, a parent who loves you but there's just like miscommunication it's falling out like that wasn't my upbringing and that's not my situation but there was so much there about dreams and um, like that I resonated with so much and you know, even um, I loved Archie's, but I also loved Terrence's because that's something I'm currently struggling with where it's like, okay, I achieved the dream. I am involved. I'm talking about things and I'm like trying to serve the, the world and the population and, you know, use my platform for good. But I'm just so tired mm -hmm. and like I don't want to burn out and lose that sense of wonder and play because when I first started all of this like streaming and playing games and um you know getting this online platform to talk about like mental health and all of that it was a dream come true I was like this is this is it this is it felt like everything I had gone through and everything I trained for was like coming to fruition and I really felt like my place in it and you know how it is with creators where it's just like some of them just completely burn out and leave, leave. Mm -hmm. and that's what he did he became like a recluse in this movie I don't really know much about his actual life but his face just like pure joy going looking from into that like it. grumpy opening the doors yes slightly. exactly to, to the full circle of just like giggling <laughs> and just in it if he writes about it he writes about it if he doesn't he doesn't because he's just he has that sense of wonder and that inner child that's excited and so like that idea of the dream didn't come from my parents that's it's unrelated but i'm trying to like talk to my inner child and reconnect with her like what made her so excited and mm -hmm. um i feel like it's it's such a good movie because and everyone has like a dream on the field of dreams you know and they showed a lot of different situations and, and i'm cases. sure like as we age we're gonna think like i know a lot of people think of the things that they do for fun like like my I keep talking about my grandparents, but they're the ones basically that raised me and like they never lost that play, yeah. that sense of play. And it can yeah. be so easy to lose faith in humanity because I mean, so many horrible things happen and you can't, it, it, there's some things you just can't stop, but you can hold on to the things that shaped you and bring you joy they can bring you joy throughout your entire life so don't ever let anybody tell you you're too old to play oh yeah for ever. sure um luckily we're getting away from that um because i feel like there was well i won't get into it i just think that especially in america and western society it's like your only hobby should be you go to work and then you go to a bar Grind. and like you drink alcohol or you do drugs and that's it you go out to dinner you buy things it's all part of the system and like there are actually hobbies that are so important and like a lot of people don't have hobbies like no. they just they literally just go to parties and stuff and so if you have hobbies never be ashamed about that and and know that like it doesn't have to be attached to a job or anything but just to constantly find ways to reignite and discover and be curious about your interests in the world your spiritual side like there was just so much good stuff i love the way that the ghosts acted mm -hmm. and the way it was directed because their expressions were so specific like like 
glazed over, but they were also present. Mm -hmm. Like, I just feel like they did such a good job with the ghosts being really like did. not there, but there, if that makes sense. Yeah. And the directing and um, obviously the shots were so beautiful and the music just being, you know, kind of that classic theatrical soundtrack, but also like the little wind chimes and it was ethereal and some kind of like, it kind of felt like not tribal, but like more ancient instruments, you know, were used. And I don't know the specific instruments, but to make it feel like almost pagan magic. It captures, yeah, because it is it is magic. It's, it, yeah. And it captures that ancient sense of community that brought people together in yes. the first place. Yes. Like we, we all come together to tell stories and to preserve history and to share beliefs and stuff. And um, it makes me think of like, all the instances I've read of people on their deathbeds and they're asked like do you have any regrets and so many of them their regrets are like I wish I would have done the things that I enjoy more I wish I would have spent more time with my family yep. I wish I would have worked less, less. yeah and that's and why I, like that applies to what I said about you know hobbies not being a thing that's celebrated in western society under capitalism and stuff because it's like if you're an adult you're only allowed to drink and watch tv and that's just what's or play golf and you know sports team sports video games where you play with each other america especially is just so focused on individualism when we've only survived because of community exactly like we owe stuff to each other we we're meant to socialize we're social creatures and to like provide and you know be together and help each other and you're right it captured that perfectly i think like the the uh if i could boil down like a reason for us being here people being here it's to create and experience love mm -hmm. and to find joy like, because when to... you think of like hatred and and grief is just so universal grief is the it's not even the flip side of love because it's like in the same vein like you love someone so much that you you're grieving them. grief is a part of love it's, it's a vital... like a huge part of it so i agree and then yeah 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 it just really captured that sense of community and like inspired me to just keep playing and yeah. like not I, when we lived in New York, me. I used to feel just this constant pressure to do, to do, to do, <laughs> do, do, do. Yeah. If you're not, if you're playing video games, no, you should be doing, you know, you should be going to auditions. You should be honing your craft. Yeah. And it's like, that's why it becomes so easy for people to lose what they love in work. Yeah. Um, and if what you love becomes work you you're 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 what you love can be your job obviously i mean that's what that's what we do mm -hmm. it's just if you allow it to become your work you lose that love for it or it, right. it becomes harder to capture i know we felt that that like burnout yeah and, stuff and, and and luckily i just i've known that or I've, I've read about it i've heard you know like you have to stop burnout from happening so i usually catch it in time and i do try to always have games I play on my own time. Yeah. Movies that we watch that have nothing to do with, you know, the audience. Yeah. Like we don't record it. We don't, you know, yeah. like we watched Godzilla minus one and Barbie. We didn't feel like we had to record no. those reactions or reviews. Like we're living, we're making sure to live our lives also like off camera and off the internet. Yeah. And it's, you know, easier said than done. There's like, you know different waves of that and um i i say to you quite often like if we knew that the world was going to end tomorrow what would we do and we just say like this yeah we do the same thing that or if we, we had like seven days to live like yeah. i don't i would just want to you know maybe i'd like just slow down a bit more and look at the sky more and yeah but ultimately i do feel like i'm living we're living authentically yeah um I mean, this is the light when we first met this is like what we talked about wanting yeah like the <laughs> house and the and the dogs and learning because there's so much that we're learning every day just through the internet but also um like media and 
just being outside with our yeah. dogs and playing and we've done a lot of like activities together yeah a lot we've done <laughs> like, a lot like together. we we've always been a couple that goes on adventures Our and stuff. Just were, we talked about playing yeah. with them and, and it's just, yeah, I just think that that's something vital that we should never lose. And yes. it's called a field of dreams. So I really think that was the point of it. And baseball, especially even more than, cause the NFL and football is really, it's different and it's like more rooted in racism. And um, I, I think that baseball actually was too. There was a lot. I, yeah, yeah. And, and I, I don't, I don't know too much about but I, uh, yes yeah. I won't talk on it then but I will say that um you know for a lot of men it was just like a really fun thing about their school years and maybe football too you know and then men are just expected to kind of like switch right away and Super go into business factory. mode like yeah go and that's and we wonder why there's like Join mental the health issues in men like i think that's a huge key to it i feel like this is such a and uh, of course people hate it when i say toxic masculinity but what i mean is that's not that's not what's inherently masculine what's inherently masculine is to emote and cry and play and be curious and i feel like this showed such a um an authentic positive accurate masculinity yeah um and then also like i resonated with so much stuff so it's not even to do with gender yeah but still like i would if we had a son i would love to show that to our son because it's just like fighting against oh bank mortgage you know it's gonna close why are you up, making that bills, baseball field taxes yeah and you got to provide for your family. You're the man. Like, I love their relationship so much. Like, that's the thing that's maybe why I don't know about this movie. Because it was really fucking woke. Uh, <laughs> it was. I mean, like, yeah. she was calling them fascists. She was talking about, you know, the book bannings. Yep. Eva so Braun. I think that, like, right Braun. wing don't that's like hilarious. it. Huh? She calling her Eva Braun was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. she's just so, she's so different from a traditional housewife who, like, sh her support, I hope that people see that and be like, okay, this is a healthy relationship because she did, you know, bring him back down to earth when she needed to. It just, it, and, and when it, they needed to. I know that you see a lot of couples that they, they, they're like, oh, my wife, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, nagging. And they, they just, the things that they enjoy are like are, are annoying to each other. And like with, yeah. with them, it Let was like, you golf. could tell she took him seriously, like pretty much immediately. She was just like, yeah, okay, I'm going to listen to you. And I know that like, if, if I were talking about something I was excited about or, or something that I was trying to make sense of, you wouldn't be like, you're crazy. Like, what, what are you talking We've about? We've always, if we have any kind of slightly paranormal experience or existential like, oh, crisis, we like listen to each other. Okay. And I just, well, I, I just feel like there's even things like I want to learn and just celebrate. Um, I, I loved that. I loved the wife. I loved her. I think she was like, I just haven't seen many female characters yeah. in, on the screen like that who are just so playful and supportive and unafraid to like you know just be playful and curious and yeah exactly and she watched the game too and karen is obviously and the house was too. so like maximalist like i loved the set design i loved like all that stuff because that's a well-loved home yeah you know if you look at have you ever seen pictures of kim kardashian's home it's like all white slash beige no person and knows. there's no there's nothing it's like open and just like rocks and shit i'm not even kidding but it's true like the difference between the house I grew up in with my blood parents and then when we would go to my granny and grandpa who were Polish, they had a small little house and I like remember it so much because I felt so safe. <laughs> and there was like the kitchen was always kind of like a mess just because there's so many things, you know, from their lives. It's just and life. A little TV, there was a little TV in the kitchen um, and you could, you know, hang out in there usually with uh, my granny or you could go into the TV room and like watch TV with my grandpa and like you could just like kind of float around and switch and talk to them. Homes because, are meant to be lived in, mm -hmm. not put on display. And everyone was welcome, you know, at any time. Um, they loved each other so much. So, yeah. and I guess it's also like, 
you know, I never got to play catch just because like they died when I was really young and there are things I missed out on because of my, you know, my parents. And I think this movie also showed me like I can still do that, like losing my other grandma last year and then also just shit that's happening i've actually become way more spiritual through that grief and like noticing things about nature yeah. and connecting like i feel like when we play with our dogs outside when we're exploring you know going on trips and all of that that curiosity and conversation and stuff i feel like our dead people are with us they're and it does become ghosts. a little mini field of dreams. Yeah, they're all force ghosts. Just, just <laughs> he did such a good job, us. James. He did. he did amazing. I love him. That was so good. Thank you so, so much, B Vega. Yes, thank you for for the recommendation. It was beautiful. And thank you yeah. to all the rest of you wonderful patrons and channel members for being here mm -hmm. with us. We'll see you very soon. Very for soon. For something else. For something else. We're going to watch something. Bye. Bye. <laughs>